Hello and welcome. In this video, I will explain you the print built-in method in UVM. And this is not available in system Verilog. This is new concept in, in, in UVM. Okay. So if it is not available in system Verilog, then what we did for this? Let me go to the example asynchronous FIFO verification. In this, there is a transition class in which I have declared a function void display. This void function display is helping us for printing those properties. This write data, write enable, this randomizing properties. Okay. Those properties are randomizing will be printed by using this void function and we are calling this display method from generator class from driver class and from monitor class see here after randomizing we are calling this display method with the help of the object transition and we are providing the string like generator class write method this display will call to this uh, transition or uh, this display method which is present in the transition class so in system verilog we need to declare our own logic for displaying something right whereas in uvm there are some building methods copy clone compare print and we are seeing this print method this copy will perform the deep copy whereas in system verilog if you want to perform a deep copy, we need to declare our, or, our, our own logic for that, right? But in UVM, by default, this copy will perform a deep copy. Now see, here, if we want to define our own transaction, then we need to follow four steps. What are those? We need to def define a class transition, or you can take any name. Here, I have taken a transition which is extended from UVM sequence item. Why from UVM sequence item? Why not UVM transition? In hierarchy, you will find UVM transition and UVM sequence item. Because this UVM sequence item is a child class of this UVM transition, right? And as you know, child by default contain all the methods and properties of his parents class, okay? And we can declare extra logic also. Now, after extending from UVM sequence item, as it is object, right? Its default constructor will contain or will expect only one argument. I'm sure you need to, you know the difference between object and component. And this is one of the most frequently interview asked question. Explain the concept of, explain the difference between UVM object and UVM component. I will definitely make another video in that I will explain you the difference using example. Just remember here, this object default constructor will contain or will expect only one argument, which is string name. And this is in within double quote transition this class name. Okay. Now see what are the steps we need to define a class which extend from UVM sequence item. Now we need to uh, we need to write a factory registration with the help of UVM macros. Take UVM object util. I have declared here field macros UVM object util. This is what the class name. And there are some field macros I have used. I will explain these in my later video. For time being, just ignore those things. Right? Then after default constructor, we need to define constraint if any. Here I have declared, uh, declared a constraint like constraint write enable not equal to should not be equal to rate enable. Okay. Now after that, we need to declare a top module on which vSIM can be invoked. So the module top in module inside that I have declared object of this cl of transition class h1 within initial begin block i am just creating that object using factories create method i will explain you this 
फैक्ट्री इज क्रिएट मेथड इन द लेटर वीडियो वाई वी आर यूजिंग क्रिएट मेथड इन स्टेट ऑफ फंक्शन न्यू ओके न्यू मेथड इज देयर एज इन एस वी वी हैव यूज राइट एच वन हैंडल इज इक्वल टू न्यू राइट सो देर आर सम पॉइंट्स वी विल आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू दैट इन माई लेटर नाउ जस्ट रिमेंबर द सेंटेक्स वॉट इज सेंटेक्स दिस ऑब्जेक्ट ओके इज इक्वल टू ट्रांजेक्शन दिस इज क्लास नेम स्कोप रेजोल्यूशन ऑपरेटर देन टाइप नेम सॉरी टाइप आई डी वाई टाइप आई डी बिकॉज द फैक्ट्री इज आइडेंटिफाइड बाई इट्स रैपर एंड रैपर हेयर इज टाइप आई डी ओके एंड देन आफ्टर स्कोप रेजोल्यूशन ऑपरेटर देन क्रिएट एंड विद इन पेरेंथिस इज डबल कोड वी नीड टू प्रोवाइड दिस ऑब्जेक्ट राइट एंड सिमिलर टू दी सिस्टम वेरी लॉक ऑब्जेक्ट डॉट रेंडमाइज फॉर रेंडमाइजेशन ओके and after that object dot print this will print all the properties this ran randomized property so no need uh, here no need to declare our own function our own method to print this property now let's run this code and try to see what the output we are getting for that go to quester sim and type our one line command q very log file name what is file name all uvm example dot sv now see you are getting a error what's dot uh, what, what what's that error saying that uvm sequence item syntax error unexpected identifier why we are getting this error because well while we are using uvm in quester sim or in model sim you need to provide the macros okay what are those macros tick include within double quote uvm macros dot svh and after this you need to import uvm package import uvm underscore pkg scope resolutor operator then a star and semicolon if you put these two lines then you will not get that error now let's run the code using qvery lock file name okay now run this now simulator will perform some operations automatically and we will get the output now see as we are getting the output now see here the name is h1 type is transition and it will give the size of those properties also and value by default is it, it is printing in hexadecimal tick h8 tick h0 h1 39 and h0 the beauty of this is it will give the size what we have declared here like 1 bit 4 bit 8 bit okay and by default it will print the information in table form and value in hexadecimal form if you want to change this table form you can change i will explain you how to do how to change this table form in my later so this is what all about how the print built in method is work in system very log in the later video we will try to i will try to give you a little bit of or information about how the copy clone and compare method work so hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching